Example five says the annual revenue for a product is given by R of X and the annual cost is C of X where X is the number of units <clears throat> or the number of thousands of units produced and sold. So part A wants to know how many units will give maximum profit and what is the maximum possible profit? So a little bit of a problem here. We're needing profit, but what functions am I given? I'm given revenue and cost. So with those, we can find out what my profit function is. So profit equals my revenue minus my cost. Again, okay, minus my cost. So remembering from a lesson that we did, I think in module two, remember when we subtract our cost, actually it may have been the beginning of module three, now that I'm thinking about it, we need to remember to put that entire cost function in parentheses. So therefore, my profit equals my revenue minus my cost here. Now, if I don't put those parentheses, the only thing I'm subtracting is at 800 from that cost, but I wanna subtract all of it. So let's distribute that negative in there. So notice it's positive, positive, positive. When I distribute that negative into everything, now it's just going to be negative, negative, negative. So minus 800 minus 100x squared minus x cubed. So now let's combine our like terms. And I'm going to put this in standard form here. So I want my x cubed first. So we'll do negative x cubed. Now I need my x squared, so negative 150 minus, or negative 50 minus 100 is negative 150. Um, I forgot my x right here. So this is my only x term. And then minus 800. So this is my profit function. Okay, so let's graph this. If we're talking about profit, we're gonna start at a y min of zero. And then I want a y max of, we just have to guess again. I'm gonna try 500 again. I feel like that's a good starting point. And we'll go zoom zero. Okay. Window zero to 500, zoom zero. Ooh. That's a horrible graph. Did I type that in right? I think, oh, I forgot my X here. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay. So now window, zoom zero. Almost the exact same graph. Okay. So let's clean this up. I don't need all of this white empty space. So we'll go into window and we'll change our crazier X min to zero again. And let's see if that makes it better. Okay, much better. So here, this looks like we have a quadratic, even though it is a cubic. So if I was to expand this out, I think it's gonna come, it's negative. So it's gonna come down this way and go up 
over here. But if this is my window, I'm wanting to find the maximum profit and the maximum, uh, or how many units will give maximum profit? What is the maximum profit? So what are we talking about there? Okay, so hopefully you had enough time to kind of think about that. This word here, maximum, is my key word. And if this is kind of what my graph looks like, this is my maximum point. What we are essentially asking for is the vertex. Now, when I am finding this, it's going to be very similar to these right here. I am going to do calc, which is second trace. So we've been spending a lot of time in this calc area here. And then number four is my maximum. Okay, I don't think we've done this since almost module one, lesson two. Let's find what my maximum point is here. So second trace, it's a max, so I want the maximum. Gonna have left bound and right bound. So where's my cursor at here? Here's my cursor. So my max is somewhere right here. So I wanna go to the left of that map, hit enter. Now I need to go to the right. Again, my max is somewhere right here. So I'm gonna go to the right, hit enter through guess. I'm gonna call that just simply 100 comma 3499200. So 3,499,200. So all of that to answer this question, how many units will give my maximum profit? Well, it tells me here that X is the number, oops. Is the number of thousands of units. So if I have a hundred here, this means we have a hundred thousand units. And if I sell a hundred thousand units, then this right here will be my profit. We will have a profit of 3,499,200 dollars.